three horse bison trail boss here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is all aluminum construction, uh, aluminum frame, aluminum skin, uh, seven six tall, uh, roughly seven wide, it might be six nine, I haven't hard measured it, but somewhere in that neighborhood. The long story short, rather than an eight wide coach, uh, you'll be able to see around this thing without big uh, you know, uh, towing mirrors that stick out there. Um, this uh, was, it's basically a, a reworked version of one of the Stratus members. Mor most of the time from Bison, when it starts with the word trail, it means aluminum over steel. This is the, the top member of that family, basically, the trail boss. It's, it's the top of the trail family. Uh, we're still looking at the nicer big radial tires on things like this. The, uh, the easy operation, easy handle, drop down feeder doors. Uh, and you notice that we even have a, a little safety gate up here. I don't know if you can see through that window. But we have a safety gate here uh, inside of uh, this one as well. So you can get airflow from all three windows. Um, they do lock when they're down. Um, this one here, swinging doors, no ramp. So uh, I, you know, I've seen a lot of people say, ah, you know, my horse won't load on one or the other. Um, <laughs> hopefully this is the right one for you. <laughs> I do like to point out that it is a 60-40 split. The door to the horse area is larger, so it allows you to stay right next to your horse's head when you're loading. It makes them more comfortable. It's safer for horse and rider that way. Saddle tree here is removable, three-place tree. Um, the, uh, the little enclosure here is collapsible and removable. So if you want to take everything out of here and just have a giant, almost like cargo area, you can do that. We've actually had people purchase our living quarter horse trailers as something like a, a very heavy duty toy hauler. Um, you see all the, the, the cross members here on the roof. I hope you never put this to the test. I hope this never happens. But if you have to set this trailer upside down, it will hold its shape. It will not crush. That's very cool. I like the full length pads on here. I've seen a lot of manufacturers give you half pads and they say, oh, it has stall pads. Yeah, it, it does have stall pads, but it doesn't have full stall pads. Uh, easy one hand operation on all of your gates here. And uh, we do like to put the stud curtain on the front stall when we can for a couple reasons. If you do have a stud and they're being a little bit rowdy, great. Then you can kind of protect your other horses. But the other thing is, a lot of times people need a, if you have two horses, you need a three horse trailer because you have a stuff wall is what we call it. It gives you the place to put your hay bales, to put your extra tack, all your coolers and stuff like that. And you see we do have a pass through door that does go up through the living area. But I want to point out, you know, these are very uh, budget conscious, affordable trailers, but they're not cutthroat. Notice the, the amenities here, the finish level. They don't, you don't see raw exposed wiring, you don't see conduit, you don't see stuff like that. Uh, your, your wall, you don't just have kick panels, you, you have the little rub guards on here as well so your horses aren't going to get sore spots. You have extra tie downs for butt bars and stuff like that. Um, you know, we're still looking at heavy duty extruded aluminum flooring. We're looking at the higher grade stuff. Uh, it, this just doesn't quite have all the extra whiz bangs and widgets that can cause the price tag to get inflated quickly. Standard power awning on these, so when you do reach your site, uh, it's 12 volt operated. Even your the batteries on the front of the trailer can operate it. Um, quick story on bison. We used to carry trailers called bison years and years and years ago, and we liked them. They did great for us. And then um, the uh, original brainchild behind bison. Uh, left the company and formed American Spirit, and that's why an American Spirit used to look a lot like a bison. What was called Bison Trailer shortly after really got mixed up, and they, they were building things we weren't proud of, and we stopped carrying them. Later, very high-end RV manufacturer, Monaco, who owns our vision, um, RV uh, builder there, they, uh, they bought Bison, and they brought their RV interior designers over into a very high-quality, well-built shell. And what's nice is you're getting a high quality, well built, expert built interior in a very affordable horse trailer. And I've had people say, you know, like we, we carry a lot of different brands from all over. Every brand does something really well that we like. But uh, people are, why are these bisons so much less money? And it's simply because they're built near our dealership. I don't, you know, the parts that uh, go into the horse trailers that are built in like Oklahoma, they still come from like the Middlebury Elkhart area. So you, you have to pay shipping to get that part sent out to Oklahoma to get the trailer built to send back to Southern Michigan. And with a bison, you don't have all that shipping cost. So you're just, you're saving a lot of money as a result. Um, a couple things I like in this, a uh, easy access battery disconnect, and you see everything just kicked right on right there. Uh, all in one stereo system. This is your stereo and your DVD. And again, this comes from the RV industry. This thing is made to bounce down the road. 
a lot of manufacturers and horse trailers, they install a car stereo into a horse trailer that bounces down the road. That is not what it's made for. Um, you know, again, like the RV industry, you're going to see a, uh, uh, you see this red light kick on and off. That's a signal antenna booster. So if you're kind of dry camping, you have uh, a, a way to, um, you know, get signal to your TV. You'll see bigger overhead cabinets in these that are built pretty darn well, actually. Um, everything is, uh, you know, pocket screwed. It's, you don't see staples and glue holding this together. That's, that's not how these are built. Um, big floor to ceiling wardrobe over here. You can use that like pantry space, put some clothes in there. You can do a lot of different things with it. Pretty common kitchenette, but um, this is a uh, eight foot short wall. So you can't really have a whole lot more room for the kitchen here unless you stole from the bathroom, but that's the key. This is the perfect size to get a full bathroom. You can get uh, an actual full stool in here. You do have uh, linen space for towels or extra clothes behind the stool. You, these are very tall, so if you do need to get in the shower, you will not hit your head. Um, but you do have a full shower here, and when you start going down to six foot short walls, you have to start really making some hard decisions. And this is that sweet spot where you can still make everything happen, but you can still afford it, and that's why we like these. So give us a call, 800-256-5196, Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Happy camping.